Hey everybody, this is GliderCat and it's time to play. We're back on the Angel Mountain map in Farm Sim 22. Let's get back to it. We have so much work to do. This episode, I think we're going to focus on, we have a little bit of field work to do. We want to start planting corn. I've got a field that's just sitting waiting for us to do that. Uh, meanwhile, our largest field, or wheat field, is still being harvested. Uh, that's going to go on for quite a while. And then we've got a bunch of planks sitting outside the sawmill in our forestry area that we need to uh, hop in the forklift and move those planks into our carpentry mill. And then I think we also have a bunch of nails we need to move into the carpentry mill as well. So we'll be spending some time on the forklift. Uh, this episode, we've got cows. I purchased um, 12 of the young beef cows, 12 of the young dairy cows, and this is our last load of 12 uh, this time it's the mature dairy cows. So let's get these guys unloaded. We still have room for a, <laughs> for a whole lot more. Only got, what, this is going to be 372 cows. We've got room for 2,000. So we'll slowly keep bringing them in, and then eventually um, our more mature dairy cows are going to start reproducing. And the young ones, it's going to be a while. But we'll keep bringing these guys in. Select move to husbandry. Yep. I'd love to get more milk production. We have almost none. So I'm kind of leaning a little bit into the dairy cows. Trying to bring twice as many of these on board as the um, as the beef cows. But that job is done. I think we'll skip chickens and maybe just purchase chickens uh, on the days that we're bringing sheep in. Uh, so that'll be next episode. Uh, park the animal trailer here. And then we'll pay off 20 grand of our debt. Slowly chipping away at the, de at the debt. We have a lot. But I'd rather have that money go towards fields than um, like this $6 million. If we, we could have paid this off, but then we wouldn't have that huge field of wheat, right? That we're making profit off of and, and kind of moving forward on our objectives. So that's why I'm paying it off slow. So we'll do another 20 grand as we've been doing every episode. Eventually, if we're flush with cash, we'll. Um, We'll maybe pay off the rest fast, but uh, as long as we've got new fields we want to purchase or new equipment we want to purchase, I'm just going to pay this loan off slow. All right, so we got our animals. We paid off a little bit of our debt. Uh, what's next? I think we need to jump on. Let's look at the map, actually. I think we need to jump on. It is field 21. We need to get corn planted here. That's a decent sized field. Nowhere near as big as 31. That's not a bad size field, and we'll do corn. It's kind of far away from our roads, and so it's nice that this doesn't have a, corn doesn't have a swath. I don't think that we're going to have to worry about that. I believe that field is plowed. Do I have a tractor over here we can just hop into? Yeah, let's see if we can hop into here. And let's see what we've got going on. Across the way, I see our plow is done. So this field has just been plowed and mulched. It's got a layer of fertilizer on it that we've inherited from um, from when it was clover. Let's get this guy. How are you doing? Does this thing need to be cleaned up? Uh, it does. What about repairs? Uh, repairs look okay. I don't have a maintenance trailer right in the area. Let's get this um, this guy cleaned up. And this tractor and this mulcher and that plow are next going to be used on our big, big, big field. And they're going to be spending a lot of time on that field because <laughs> that field's huge and this thing is kind of small. But uh, <clears throat> that's fine. We have so much to do. It almost doesn't matter how long the workers take to clear a field. And then as we play on, we'll have so many fields going at one time. Uh, it's not going to be an issue. On a map like this, you could choose to, you know, use course play and have multiple tractors and combines working the same field at the same time. I'm not going to bother with that. I just have a feeling that would create more headaches than it's worth trying to unstick machines that are running into each other and all that. I'd rather just have more fields with one worker each on them than try and have multiple workers in the same field. All right, this guy is looking better already. 
let's get this tractor out of the way. I don't... Do I have fuel over here? I don't even think I have fuel out by this farm silo or field silo. Can I see what I've got in here? We got a bunch of hay to collect. Look at that. 2.6 million liters of hay. So I'll have to slowly bring that into the main farm. We've got a few loads of clover left over. We can deliver that over to... We have that like hen house building, I think, that takes clover. And then we have our three apiaries that take clover as well. So we'll have to get that at some point. Let me move this guy kind of out of the way. And then that looks like that might be our planter right here. I'm not going to use this tractor for it. We'll hop into this guy. I think this is why I brought this one over here. For John Deere 350. Let's go. Guy has the maintenance looks good and the fuel looks good. I think we just need to hop in, set a course play, and plant ourselves some corn. I believe this spreader fertilizes too. Yeah, good. And we don't want sunflowers, we want corn. Yeah, let's set up a new course. I don't think I've used this planter before. Um, this field is what, 21? Yeah, 21. Let's set up a new job. Great job, field work. Uh, maybe I should clear the current course first. This guy's got a course. Um, great job. Whoops. Back. Try that one more time. Okay. Target position. We want to start far end of the field. Field position. Getting lag here. Generate a course. See what we get. That looks good. Starting at the far end of the field. Finishing up near the field silo. That's what I want. So let's save this guy. Uh, it's field 21. Save course. Field 21. This is field 21 plant corn. I have to keep track of the planters that we're using. Um, yeah, field 21 plant corn. And then let's get this guy fired up to the first waypoint. See what happens. Keep an eye on him while he does his thing. Uh, while he's doing his thing, let's just make sure. I don't think that field needed lime or anything. I think we checked that last episode 21 we saw that it had a one application of fertilizer um i don't see needs lime showing up here so i think we're good yeah we're good using to drive on the field i'm not sure why Alright, there he goes. We've got he or she. What do we have in here? Looks like we've got a he and we've got corn being planted. That is awesome. That's one step closer for us getting pigs started. Uh, we need this corn for that. Alright, that is done. What's next? I think we need to get on the forklift and get that going. Here's our helper for the wheat field. These guys have a long way to go still. Let's see. Uh, looks like almost halfway. Field 31 there. Oh man, there's a lot of, a lot of straw to pick up. Alright, here's our 
little forklift. Let's get on it. We're going to bring all of those planks into the carpentry mill here. And then we're going to go over to Mammoth Mill, spawn some nails, and bring those over here too. Let's just see how many nails are needed. I think the carpentry mill can use them. Mammoth Mill has what? 87,000 nails available. And the carpentry mill you know, needs planks. It's starved out. Uh, it doesn't even hardly need the nails, but we'll bring them over anyway. It's got room for another 200 and whatever that is, 216,000, something like that. So, yeah, let's get on it. Here we go. Alright, that's it. 72,000 liters of nails, and I don't know however many planks we brought over. But the carpentry mill is now in good shape. It's got work to do, plenty of product to work on. And uh, I think the mammoth mill, I think we got most of the nails out of there. Let's take a look. Uh, nails, yeah, we got most of the nails out of there. How is, let's see how mammoth mill is doing overall. Needs wood chips. We brought over half a million liters of ore. Actually, a little bit more than that. Close to 600,000 liters of iron ore. Uh, still processing that. Has plenty of sand. And what else? Sacks we could either deliver or sell. Or store, maybe. And jars that we can sell. Um, but nothing urgent. Let's get into our truck. The next thing we need to do, uh, if we look at the businesses again, uh, we have work to do over at the refinery. This guy's got a bunch of diesel. And hydrogen and oxygen are starting to stack up. Once these fill up, everything shuts down. So I think we're going to go get the tanker. And I'm going to sell some hydrogen. Take some hydrogen into the water tower to, by our stone pro processing plant. Excuse me, to make, um, make water. And then we'll take a load of hydrogen to our main farm and do the, uh, for the 10 million liter objective. And then it looks like we're going to have five loads, so we'll probably do 
one load to the farm storage, one load to create water, and then three loads to sell, I think. So we'll raise some cash. Die is real slow. We don't need to get to that right now. Uh, we'll do the same thing with diesel. Store some diesel and then sell the rest, probably. Store one and sell two. So yeah, let's get on that task. That way we can make sure this thing doesn't stop. We want this um, refinery running all the time. The die is a concern. We definitely need this die. This produces pretty slow. We need it for clothing, we need it for crayons, and we need 10 million liters of it on top of that. So I think that's gonna be a challenge. Where it's gonna take a very, very long time for us to get to that. So I don't want this plant shutting down. So yeah, let's go get into our truck. This guy. And we can go switch trailers out with the tanker trailer. Um, we might, why don't we take, uh, while we have this hooked up, <laughs> while we have this trailer hooked up, let's first take a load of glass jars and go sell them at the hardware store. Uh, we'll get some cash for that. And it's one more thing we can kind of cross off the list. We have other trips we need to make, uh, with pallets, but I don't want to focus on that too much this episode. Maybe at the end of the episode, we'll get to some, move some things around. I think we've got sauerkraut and vinegar or something that might need to be moved and brought up to the main farm silo. I'm not sure about wheelchairs and walkers, but um, let's just, while we're hooked up, let's go do the jars. That'll get us a little infusion of cash. We've been getting good money for those. And then we'll, um, once we sell the jars, we'll switch over to our tanker trailer, holds a thousand liters of fluid, and we'll head over to the refinery and get going on that stuff. All right, so I'll meet you at Mammoth Mill. All right, we're coming into Mammoth Mill. You want to clear these trees? I think I may have mentioned that last episode. Let's uh, take a look. Turn on auto load. And this time it's jars. Drill pipe. I wish we had a full load of drill pipe, but uh, maybe when we're done working the refinery, we will have some more. Because one of our pump jacks is pretty much stopped right now, just waiting on drill pipe. And the other one has like 400,000 <laughs> 400, liters. All right. Jars it is. All right, I will meet you at the hardware store. We'll see what we get for these. I think it's more than 100 grand, but we'll see. All right, with all our jars unloaded, let's see. We're just about ready to get the total here. Oops, let's see. 96 plus a little bit more. 96 plus 1,000, so 97,000. That is a good product for us. I got two extra pallets that just kind of are hanging out in the truck. Let me get rid of those. And then, yeah, let's um, trade out trailers here. I don't think there's anything for us to bring back. We're not going up to the main farm right now. Pass by the slushy factory and our ice factory. Slushies are produced fairly slow. If we look at those, oops, I had them right here. Yeah, we're not even near the 200,000 liter mark on these. We'll see if we store those or sell them. And we need 10 million liters of each one, but we also need a lot of cash. So <laughs> to buy all these fields and equipment, but we're making our way. We're getting there.
All right, I'm here at the refinery. Let's start with them. Um, let's start with hydrogen. Or let's start with oxygen since that's the first one that came up. We'll load up with this and then I want to see um, how I can combine some trips. Usually when I'm doing trucking, I try to combine trips. So we're going to deliver oxygen over to the water tower by the stone processing plant. And while we're there, maybe we can grab some water. We're going to drop it off here. There's room for more hydrogen and oxygen. There's tons of water in there. Let's see if these guys need water. They, that wash plant looks good. That one looks good. Won't even fit water. Then we've got over there, we also have the um, stone processing factory. That looks like it could take a load of water. We'll drop water over there to the big stone processing building. Just one load. And then the soda factory doesn't need water. So yeah, that's it. Oh yeah, and by the main farm, we have some multitasking to do as well. We'll take oxygen over to that water tower, like I mentioned. Then the next load of oxygen is going to go to our main farm. And over there, we have the um, fertilizer plant. Where is that? Right here. This guy needs a bunch of water. So when I drop oxygen off with our tanker trailer. I'll just stop by the water trigger, pick up a load of water, drop it off into the fertilizer station. And then while I'm there, I'll grab some liquid fertilizer and just put that into storage. And then I'll do the same thing when we drop off the hydrogen and diesel as well. So we won't clear all this liquid fertilizer out here, but we'll get some of that stuff done. So yeah, I'm going to combine trips. Here we go.
Right, we got a lot done not too bad i'm just gonna take the truck in here get a little bit of maintenance done and then maybe go power wash it and we will call it an episode uh, that's it for this one this is glider cat saying thanks so much for watching and i'll catch you in the next one